Hey guys, this is Casual Chris, and today I'm going to teach you how to duck your bass under your kick using the plugin Volume Shaper from Cable Guys. Volume Shaper is a great tool from Cable Guys, it is an alternative to LFO tool. I personally use it for my producing, I've been using it since January. Uh, and it's definitely uh, helped me a lot with getting my kick to sound a lot more clear. Now the weakness that Volume Shaper does has is that if your kick is not sitting on a four and a floor, which is just dance music, <laughs> then it's not so easy. But I can show you exactly how to set it up so that you can go ahead and duck your bass under your kick and not have to sit in a four on the floor. So come check out my track and uh, take a look at how we did it. So here I got a song here called Alice. I uh, released it back in May. Uh, it's a playoff Alice in Wonderland. Um, as you can see, this is not a four on the floor kick. Hopefully you can see it. If you can't, you're just going to have to hear it. This is not sitting on four and floor. As you can see. So it's definitely not sitting on four and floor. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duck this bass line from the kick. Okay, so <clears throat> okay. So it looks like I have a side chain on the. Uh, we're gonna turn that off. This is the old way of doing it, which is you would get a side sh a side chain and good luck you know what I'm saying so this is the process that I use now it's 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 definitely a different process but what I tell this bass is I tell this bass that you're going into a bus and in this bus it's gonna be called the duck bus so everything that I have is going to go into this bus and get ducked. Everything that goes in here is getting ducked. Now, what cable guys? I don't know what's what the deal. Why they do it this way? This is my only gripe about it. Is you gotta hit this and you gotta go to no output. You basically say that you just want all the information to go into this bus, but you don't want this bus to play. Okay. So now that you have that. Now we get into um, setting this up. Setting this up is basically 90% of the work. This is what takes the longest. This is a gripe. So the quickest thing that I do to set it up is I will go ahead and highlight the entire base, right click it, create new sampler track, create it by regions, these are just regions. I started from the very lowest C note all the way to the highest G note. Just to just in case, you know, I'm using a kick with a lot, you know, a lot of information. Or if you're using a bass loop or a kick loop and you just want to grab the kick, sometimes it'll chop up the transients that are the the hi hats, you know, the snares. And I'll show you what to do now. So you double click that. Here's your sampler track. I literally hit every note to make sure that every note I know what's playing. In this case, it's a kick. Now, as you can see, I have all of my kicks. All right here. They're, these are all kicks. The thing about cable guys is it only reads the C note. So it's looking, <coughs> we are looking for MIDI information, but only 
on the C note. So all this right here has to go down. I know that option down will do it for me. I recommend muting it because it's going to sound like brrr. Okay. So now all of my stuff is down. Now I can go up to um, any C that I want, but I'm going to leave it on C2. That's just the easiest thing for me to do. So now I have the information of these kicks in my sampler. This is exactly what I want. Turn the mute on because I, I really am not looking to get a sound out of this. I just need the MIDI information out of this. Um, the next thing that I like to do is I like to highlight them all. I like to go to functions. I like to go to MIDI. I like to go to maximum note length. And I like to make them all the same note length. Because I only need the top of the kick. I only only need the quick, like the quick, like I don't need a boom. I don't need the whole kick. Just the just the front of the kick. Just this part is all I'm looking for. Just to duck it. All right. So now that I have this, I know for a fact that this. Is the same as this over here. Cool. All right. So now I have this. You can do this two different ways. You can create a new track. Go into your instrument. AU MIDI control. Cable guys. Shaper box. Stereo. Or you can just change it within this. Or you can just go in and, and and find it in here and and change it here too. Either way works. The point is that we want this information on this track. So we're gonna name it MIDI drum notes. Alright. So hit the volume now what we're gonna tell this thing is we want the ducker or bus 20 to be the side chain so now bus 20 is a side chain so this took about a good six seven minutes to set up this takes a while to set up all right, it does. No doubt about it. So you have different options. Duck. So now you have it ducked. So you want to make, this is a key information. This is what's going to make it sound good. So what you want to do is change this to MIDI beat one shot. See it moving right there? That confirms that every time Oh, I know why. That's weird. All right, so now that we have it, that it's gonna drop it every single time that kick happens, cool. Maximum note length one cool. So now what we want to do is adjust this So that it sounds I don't know We just got to adjust it till it sounds pretty good when it ducks so you hold the option button You drag it along here, so you grab everything Oh, it's the uh
So the uh, weird thing about this is it, it is It's done, I get it. So now it's just ducking it. So what you do with this... So this is telling it that it's gonna just turn off the whole sound. What you wanna do with this is this allows it to um, give it a split so that you can just duck the lows. You don't necessarily wanna duck the highs too. I mean, in some situations you do, but for the most part, you just want the bass to clear, so the bass has more space. So you can leave this. What I do is I move it until I don't hear the ducking anymore. There you go. So anything that goes into it is going to get ducked. Tutorial complete.